So you're browsing the GA4 reports and you see this warning. It says that the report is based on 100% of data, but at the same time, some thresholding is applied. Why did this happen and what can you do about it? Well, let me explain. So when you are looking at Google Analytics 4 reports, always keep an eye on this part right here. If it shows an orange exclamation mark, click it, and most likely you will see that thresholding is applied. This is caused by a feature called Google Signals. So if you have enabled it, then most likely that at some point you will see this warning right here. To check if you have enabled Google Signals, you can go to Admin, then Data Settings, Data Collection, and then check if Google Signals is enabled. I don't have permissions in this property, so this one looks gray, but it is enabled. If you have enough permissions, then it will look like this. And if Google Signals is disabled, it will look like this. So what is Google Signals? It is a feature of Google Analytics that allows you to collect additional data about your website visitors. That data is coming from places such as Google Accounts. So if a visitor is browsing your site while he or she is logged in to a Google account, then Google Analytics will enrich your reports with demographics data, and also it will affect how Google identifies your website visitors. When it comes to demographic data, you will be able to find it in reports and then, for example, demographics details or overview, in fact. Even though Google Analytics is capable of tracking some of the demographics data, things such as gender or interests or age are coming from Google Signals. So in theory, this sounds good because you will have more data in your reports and that might help you get more insights. However, here's the catch. If your reports have rows with very small numbers, for example, a row where you have 20 users or 30 sessions or you know 10 events or something like that, and I mean event count in this case, then because you have Google Signals data collected, Google Analytics will start hiding those parts of the report or at least those rows. So if thresholding has kicked in, then you might not see rows that have very small numbers. Luckily, this particular report is not affected at the moment, so I see even those events where I have just two of them. But if this report was affected by thresholding, then none of these rows would be displayed because the user numbers or session numbers are very low. Why is Google doing that? Well, officially Google says that this is to prevent potential leaks of personally identifiable information. Even though personally I cannot imagine how technically you could pull this off, but that's what Google decided. So what can you do in this case? Well, if you have just created your new property and you still haven't enabled Google Signals, you need to think whether that feature is actually useful for you. Of course, you will get demographics data, but then your reports might be affected by thresholding. On the other hand, if you plan to connect Google Analytics to Google Ads and you want to use Google Analytics audiences for retargeting, then Google Signals is necessary and you will have to enable that. But if retargeting does not matter for you and you don't think that it's worth to have demographics data such as age, gender, or interests, then my suggestion would be to not enable Google Signals and then your reports will not be affected by thresholding. If, on the other hand, you have been already collecting Google Signals data for a while, then just simply disabling them in the admin panel will not help because you have already collected that data. So your historic data for that particular time period will always be affected by thresholding. So in that case, what should you do if you already have been collecting Google Signals for a while, but you still want to see those rows and reports that have very small numbers? There is one workaround, and you can do that by going to Admin, then Reporting Identity, Show All, and then you need to switch to Device Based. This type of reporting identity will be taking into account only cookie information and Google Signals data will not be included. This means that your user counts will be less accurate, but you will not be affected by thresholding and by hitting save, you will unlock those hidden rows with small numbers as well. And the cool thing about reporting identity is that you can change it as many times as you want because this change applies to historic data as well. It does not modify the data that is stored, but it affects how the data is calculated and displayed in Google Analytics interface. 
So for example, if you are curious about rows with small numbers, you can temporarily switch to device-based, save it, then go to reports, check your data, and once you are satisfied with the result, then you can go back to observed or blended because those will also include things such as user ID. Unfortunately, right now when I'm recording this video, you cannot use device ID and user ID, but exclude Google signals if you have already collected that. I wish they would add that in the future and maybe when you're watching this video, maybe that is already available. So keep an eye on this setting right here. But in the meantime, you can have only device ID, which means basically cookies, or you can have all other identifiers or even model data if you decide to go with blended. All right, so now you might be wondering what is the impact on your reports if you cannot see those rows with small numbers because of thresholding. So here's an example. Here I have a traffic acquisition report where I see different sources and mediums. The report is affected by thresholding. We have that warning right here. And right now this report tells me that there are 35 unique combinations of source and medium. Right now the reporting identity of this property is set to observed right here. But if I switch to device based and click save and then reload the page, it will show me that now I can see over 700 unique traffic sources. So basically it means that pretty much 700 traffic sources have very small numbers. That's why I cannot see them in report by default. For example, here, if I switch to 250 and I scroll down, you will see that most of them have 11, 14, nine, and so on. That's why they were hidden when I was using observed reporting identity. But how much does it affect the user count or session count? So now we have 154,000 users, almost 55, and then we have almost 300,000 sessions. Now let's switch back to observed and refresh the page. In my case, the numbers have decreased very little. So in this case, I would say I am lucky and the impact of jumping between two reporting identities is not that much. So even though I don't see most of my traffic sources, the main majority of them is coming actually from the top 35 traffic sources. But of course, in your case, the situation might be different. So keep that in mind. And don't forget that you can switch between reporting identities as many times as you want. If you want to learn some additional details about thresholding, then take a look at the description of this video where I will post a link to a blog post. And now you are familiar with data thresholding in GA4. Remember, if you don't plan to use Google Analytics for audiences in Google Ads, then think carefully before enabling Google Signals. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.